bra that guy had a gun you're telling me to give him what he needs he's not going to harm i had nowhere to hide like i knew i could hide in my toilet but this gun he popped it i put it close to my head and said i'm going to kill you right now see the stupid place i had to hide hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be doing my first ever story time i'm super excited why are you trying this cute hair from the four hair I haven't unboxed it yet, what do we do it with you guys? So yeah, let's get into it. They sell amazing hairs in wigs and bondage. I'm super excited. So this is the hair I ordered. I'm seeing two hairs inside this bag. I know I ordered for this and I don't know which this is. And I got this also. This is a fringe. Thank you, Adufan. I'm going to try this one first. I'm super excited. I'm really excited. Wow. So I reached out to this brand on I to purchase a bob hair because I don't have a bob hair and why not? Why can't I? Now instead of being scammed by Instagram vendor, you know what? That one is another story for another day. They were nice and friendly and assured me. I'm super excited. Look at this strand. My god, the brand is new. So if you want something like mine, look at this strand. If you want something like mine, it is priced at 85k and note it is bound to increase due to dollar rate hold up i know it is pricey it isn't cheap guess what i got your bag i have a coupon code which will be giving you 10 percent of any hair you purchase so if you purchase like the hair you're going to have 30 percent discount so yeah i will be leaving the coupon code somewhere along the video so you have to invest in good quality hair strands that will last you a while that's what i got color is top notch i won't lie let's take a look at the strands like so back to the jeans this story is recent but it remains permanent in my head because i was traumatized or would i say i'm still traumatized i guess it's really a funny story but i'm quite serious it was bad to my returning subscribers thank you and if you're new here hi good to see you don't forget to like subscribe and comment grab your popcorn your water your tea your juice whatever and let's dive into it before i start my eyes is going to be diverted because i'm facing the mirror so yeah it was on a faithful one as they during my 300 level second semester that was 20 18 yeah 2018 i still remember the day because it still lives rent free in my head as i said earlier it was on a wednesday because that day i went for midweek service at winners after the service that day i had the odd not to go in school i stayed off k with my sister off k is basically staying in a rented apartment that is outside the school not the school hostel so yeah right now i feel i'm doing rubbish so i stayed off k in school with my elder sister the funniest thing was the fact that she traveled that day to her boyfriend's house now her husband congratulations to both of them <laughs> But she had an event to attend on that week saturday and his place was close by so i was left alone which leaves want to dry a little bit I have no fun to blow it so yeah i'm going to leave it for a while so back to the gist. So when i got home i was feeling on this i contacted few of my friends to know if they were home funny enough all of them were occupied with one thing or the other and me i don't like bothering people my then boyfriend per se i called him and i asked him are you home he told me he was home but he had a visitor a female friend like his close friend she was staying over at his place so he was like no you can come three of us will stay together and i was like dude i'm not doing this rubbish I told him, is it is either she leaves and i come or either she stays and i don't come so yeah i stayed in my house because the girl refused to go and me i can't sleep in a house with another woman let's be frank i won't do that rubbish again god forbid quite all right i knew nothing was going on between them but still so like, let's stop it. i don't want to center this discussion around them so the bottom line is i didn't go to his house so yeah that's fine so throughout the night i couldn't sleep like i knew something was about to happen i was feeling like something want to happen right that something is about to happen i couldn't figure out i couldn't like pull one or two like i knew something bad was about to happen because i was 
constantly having panic attack that day in this life my advice is to always follow your instinct always follow your intuition like whenever your mind is telling you something bad is going to happen see just follow it just do what your mind is telling you to do to be at the server side around 12 a.m to 1 i was still chatting because i couldn't sleep next thing i heard was a hit at my window one hitting my window and to be frank it wasn't weird to me because the apartment i stayed that was how you know student environment around three four that see outside just in you understand so it wasn't weird and it was weird because i don't really like involve myself with whatever they're doing so i was surprised like why are they involving me in their shit so i responded with i quote who is that one and i sighed like the side i sighed was long <laughs> the next sound i heard next was a tear at my window as i said earlier the next sound i heard was a tear at my window my window slide was adjusted and my curtain opened they could see me and i couldn't see them because my bed was close to the window jesus christ the flash they were holding mm, that flash could blind any individual any person i don't know what anybody has to tell me if you're walking in the night or anywhere that is dark and use that thought it's like daytime because i really don't understand how a thought will be that bright i'm wondering where they found that thought like jesus christ when do all these people see those type of flashlight they ordered me to open my door i refused we got shaking my burglary in my wind did you not when they were doing all these things i was busy running up and down I had nowhere to hide like I knew I could hide in my toilet but I was just like paralyzed I had nothing to do I was just running up and down in my room crying screaming the only thing I could say was mommy daddy Jesus those three words <laughs> see the stupid place I had to hide under my plastic table <laughs> that was the place that I saw that was safe for me to hide under my plastic table under my plastic table that was right so when my burglary was about to fall the boss i call him the boss because he was the one that had more authority over the two minions because there were three i'm calling him the boss why the two were his minions he told me and i quote if you don't open the door i will pass through the window you are dead meat immediately i remember my dad say when we we're going to school if you are in any situation like that and they ask for any material thing give it to them maturity can be replaced but you see life life cannot be replaced my dear i had to open my door just take what you want to take as long as you don't harm me as i said earlier there were three numbers when i opened the door i was trembling like this so the three of them walked in at this point where they entered i won't lie i was just on dan shiki people that don't know that i'll be showing you dan shiki somewhere in this video just on dan shiki no underwear so when they entered they were like sit I sat on my bed i was trembling at that point they collected my phone and he asked me for my ATM. At this point, I wanted to ask smart this guy. So I told him, me and my sister stayed together and my sister wasn't around and she was with the ATM. I was furious. It was like, where is your ATM? And I told him, bros, I, 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 I called, I said, bros, now only one ATM me and my sister get and she know that she don't carry the ATM travel. See, I don't know if these people were using jazz. This guy went to one of my bags that I had opened my bag and took my purse and brought out my ATM. I was dumbfounded. I was confused, like what was going on here? Like, does this person know me? That was the question I was asking myself, like, definitely this person knows me, like to just go to my bag and open my purse and take out my ATM, you know me. And immediately it was like, your ATM pin. I was still forming smart girl, smart girl, evil girl. So I was like, I don't know, I don't know, because I was I was actually scared. So I was shouting, I don't know, I don't know my pin, I don't know my pin. So he was like, I will shoot you now. Even though he said I will shoot you now, I gave him wrong pin. This guy knew that pin I gave him was wrong. I don't know how he knew that pin was wrong. He knew the pin I gave him was wrong. Then immediately carried this gun, he cocked it. I put it close to my head and said, I'm going to kill you right now if you don't tell me your ATM. If he did that, I don't I didn't even know when I started shouting. I shouted my pin. I told him the four numbers. Like because of ATM, how much is in my ATM that will allow these people to kill me like, today? Let's be frank. If I really didn't give him that ATM pin, it would have killed me. Because before that, he was like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you if you don't give me the pin. Like, as if you are the one that worked for the money that is inside my ATM. That you're shouting, you'll kill me. <laughs> when all this one was going on, I was just busy crying. Because what am I supposed to do rather than cry? I gave him my pin. He took out a barrel and a paper from his bag. I wrote my pin down and this bastard do you know what he did next i had 5k cash and other change in my bag 
he took all the money there including the change he didn't leave a dime for me like he left me broke one of his minions were nice that one was just assuring me just listen to him he won't harm you just give him what he wants and he's not going to harm you like brah that guy had a gun you're telling me to give him what he needs he's not going to harm me definitely i will give it so after he was done writing down my atm pin in his book so he dropped his book back in his bag then he was asking me for my gold chain it was like where is your gold chain in my head i was like gold chain do i wear gold at that that point really i was not even wearing gold so in my head i was like do i wear gold why is this man asking me for gold he was like where is your gold chain and i said i don't have gold then he was like where is your gold chain give me your gold bracelet i said i don't have a gold bracelet then it dawned on me four days ago before that day that's boyfriend then he came and he was wearing a gold bracelet which i collected and i noticed the other combo there were three guys that they were standing at the balcony so they were like listening to us so i was like i'm not going to give you this bracelet i'm going to take it so before they left the balcony i returned the bracelet to my sister's husband they were not there long enough to see me returning the bracelet so i knew they were the one i feel like i'm going to take the hair to the side instead of center the fence in the side so yeah i told him in pigeon bros i know they wear gold chain the chain where i get see i'm for window the window was already on the floor so i showed him since the chain i'm using the chain was washed it's only recent like that wearing chain and investing in jewelry i was not in front of jewelry even after that incident i was like i'm not going to wear jewelry again then my phone and my atm now shit was the fact that my laptop my sister's tab and my second phone was on our sound system the boss instructed one of the minions to carry the laptop they carried the laptop they found out that they had no space in their bag because i kid you not that that bag was full of different brand of laptop the boss instructed the nice one to take the tab so they took the tab and they locked me inside my room with my key they collected my key from me forcefully and they locked me inside so a few minutes after they were done rubbing the compound maybe they left people rushed outside to help me open the door because they locked me inside at this point i really don't know what i'm doing at this point i don't know what i'm doing to this hair but i feel i'm making progress so yeah let's say it goes so when i came out from my room i noticed that the nice I mean let's be frank forget the way i'm laying this week it's going to be nice i know people be like she's spoiling this hair but i know what i'm doing trust me trust the process trust the process so when they opened the door i found my tab was on top of my generator left my sister's tab immediately i called my sister and i informed her about what happened in the compound and she was just there panicking panicking because she knows she left me she was panicking and my father was not aware that she was not in school another problem so she was panicking panicking and she was like i'm coming i'm coming to, i'm coming tomorrow i'm coming tomorrow then immediately I called my dad and I informed him I have my dad's number off and I have everybody's number off and in this life always have your loved one's number off and in case you're in a difficult situation a dangerous situation and you just had one person to call so you know who you are calling have the right people so immediately I called my dad my dad was like hope they didn't touch you oh they didn't touch him my daddy asked me more than 20 times and i was like no the next thing i was like i'm coming to your school the next day and mind you i school in edo state and this thing we're talking about happened like around three o'clock so i was like i'm coming to your school the next day i kid you not around 6 p.m in the afternoon my dad was already in my school the day my daddy came to my school my daddy was shouting i'm going to take this matter off <laughs> I'm a very stupid guy. He was shouting, I'm going to take this matter up. I'm going to talk to the VC. This is nonsense. This can't be happening in a school environment. In my head, I didn't tell my dad to his face. I was like, guy, calm down. This is a school of thousands of students. <laughs> this is not a private university. A school of thousands of students because you know the VC. You want to meet the VC and tell the VC that they robbed your daughter. And they should arrest people. Who do they want to arrest? I'm so grateful to one of my friends, Yimi shout out to you me like i called her and immediately around 6 a.m she was already in my house with a bike and i held her brother they came and they picked me like they allegedly picked me and took me 
to their hostel because I couldn't sleep like I was shaking throughout that period I couldn't sleep so immediately I told her I feel I have to stretch this hair but no I feel I want to stretch this hair I really do I is there need when I go to her house I still couldn't sleep like if I hear a cockroach pass I'm up <laughs> I was up she was actually like so worried she was actually worried because i couldn't sleep i was already shaking if i hear noises of people i'm up no i really i really appreciate way me when me if you see this video i appreciate the time i was in my hostel again and i heard someone come in immediately because i heard a strange voice i was shaking legitly i was shaking legitly i removed my sim from my phone and I dropped my phone down and I sat on the floor and I was shaking for no just cause when they will this story they'll be like it's not a lot now that happened they just took your phone they just took your ATM guy they caught gun on my head like this guy was literally telling me every second they had he would kill me like me and this guy had beef like as if me and this guy were dragging something before that he knew me that he wanted to kill me since then people were suspect to me another thing again was because of this incident I legitly stopped posting on ig what am i even saying on any social network i stopped posting because i was like i don't know maybe this person that wrote me saw me on ig i don't know if this person saw me on whatsapp i like i stopped posting everywhere like i became a ghost then if you want to see me you have to come to my house to see me to check up on me unless i forget my coupon code is vtv23 yes i said it vtv 23 but now i'm really happy it all sound funny and it's a story i like sharing so yeah that's why i shared it with you guys that's why i made it my first ever story time now it's a very funny story but trust me then it wasn't like i've been looking at this hair touching the hair i need to like stretch it to give it the bow but no but take a look at this hair like do i have to like turn back and shave this hair for you to see how it is let's take a look at this hair the hair is giving luxury the hair is giving elegance this hair is giving vibe you know the vibe you want like it's giving me the vibe i love this bond orange immediately i saw this hair on that page i fell in love with this hair and i said you know what i must have this hair this is mine this baby is calling me that was why i purchased my baby and now my baby is mine this hair is giving all it needs to give it's giving the vibe it needs to give i'm not even stretched it and it's just like i know what you want yes i'll be having an ember sales i really don't know when they're going to be having ember sales so what you have to do is follow them on ig and turn on your notification bell on their post to get notified whenever they post new stuff so you don't miss their ember sales don't forget to use my coupon code to get 10 percent discount any hair you purchase from dufoa hair loose hey guys thanks for watching to the end don't forget to push the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up comment and watch my other videos hold up right there don't forget to shop at dufoa hair looks stay blessed see you in my next video bye